Hi, I'm Leah, a DaVita registered dietitian. One struggle that patients face is fluid weight gains. But with help from teammates and others on dialysis, you can limit your fluid weight gain to no more than two to three kilograms or four and a half to six and a half pounds between treatments. Having too much fluid in your body is dangerous and harmful to your organs. There are symptoms such as shortness of breath and that occurs when there's too much fluid around your heart. There are visible symptoms as well, such as swelling in your hands and feet and legs. Going to dialysis and staying for the entire time is very important to limit fluid overload. Missing treatments and signing off early can be very dangerous. Having too much fluid in your body is like this tray of saline bags. It is heavy and it's hard to carry around. And this is the extra pressure that is being placed on your heart. A heart that has had too much fluid around it is like this balloon that has been blown up. It will never shrink down to its original size. Here I have two squeeze balls. One is in an empty plastic bag. The other is in a bag filled with water. I'm going to try to squeeze the one. And it squeezes pretty easy because there isn't any fluid around it. Now I'm going to try to squeeze the one in the bag with water. This one doesn't squeeze as well, and this demonstrates the fluid that builds up around the heart. The heart does not have enough room to beat as strong as it is supposed to. Your fluid intake needs to be limited to one liter or one quart a day, or four eight ounce cups. Remember that rule of fours. For good health, have an albumin of 4.0 by eating four ounces of protein at midday and evening meals and limiting fluid to four eight ounce cups a day. Here are samples of what four eight ounce cups of fluid looks like. It is the same as one liter or one quart. One easy way to keep track of your fluid intake is to measure it. Try this. Fill a container in the morning with water and pour out the liquid as you drink during the day. For example, if you have a cup of coffee, pour that same amount out of the container. Measuring the amount that you drink is vital. Here are four tips to control fluid. The first tip is to chew gum or place a mint or hard candy in your mouth when you get thirsty. Second, limit salty foods because salty foods make you thirsty and that will make you want to drink something. Third, try freezing some grapes and then pop one into your mouth when your mouth is dry to quench your thirst. And finally, the fourth trick is to use small drink containers. You can have 10 full servings from this three ounce cup. By drinking out of a small cup, the fluid allowance lasts longer. Be careful though. Many times, people chew on ice to help eliminate thirst. One cup of ice melts down to four ounces of water. This can easily add up to be more fluid weight gain if you are not keeping track of how much ice you consume. Remember the rule of fours. For good health, achieve an albumin of 4.0 by eating four ounces of protein at lunch and supper and limiting fluid to four eight ounce cups daily. Limiting fluid intake is challenging, but you can do it. 
your DaVita social worker and dietitian are here to help you face these challenges. They have special training to help you manage your fluid intake. Just ask them.